I'm just really excited to share everything that's in the coming months. That's all that I have to say. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brooke and it has been so long since I've gone to Trader Joe's. I know some of you guys have subscribed from like Trader Joe's hauls and stuff I've done. I used to be the biggest Trader Joe's girly and I was looking around. I was like, wow, I don't have that many groceries. Gotta go grocery shopping. Why not make it a little fun go to Trader Joe's? It's fun, but it's also like a, a journey. Every time I go, I end up buying so much stuff because we're going no list, just vibes. So come with me to Trader Joe's. Let's do a proper Trader Joe's haul. Let's go. coming back from the grocery store. There was a ladybug on something. I have like a fear of bugs, but ladybugs are safe to me because I just think about it and I'm like, they're ladies, like they're not gonna hurt. I just took her outside. We got the goods, three bags of stuff and probably we'll make like two meals because it's mostly snacks, but you know, I'm just a girl. <laughs> also, this top is from Lamarck, but it's rented from Fashion Pass. My Fashion Pass order right now is hitting. It's so good. I got like a really cute set, a cute top, this, and another cute top. So, shout out. You could always use my code Brooke on Fashion Pass, not sponsored, but I just thought I would say that. Rental girly. I also just ordered a dress for this birthday weekend to come, which is like kind of this vlog theme from Pickle. I'm excited about that. On the theme of it being, you know, my birthday and whatnot, I got myself flowers, but I always get myself flowers. These are the best the Country Roses, I think that's what they're called, or Garden Rose Collection. They're a little bit more than like typical Trader Joe's flowers, but these, they will last me like two weeks. I swear, they look gorgeous. I got this like light pink color. Like I said, mostly snacks, so no judgment here. I miss this so much, this bread. Oh, San Francisco sourdough. I miss these too. I've been craving like a sour treat at the end of the night, sour candy, the Scandinavian sour swimmers. Oh my God, you know the vibes this i might have for lunch today i do really like this it's the lentil soup high in fiber I'm trying to get more fiber into my diet which i didn't really do such a good job of here today but it's a goal in mexico they served us at our margarita making class jicama sticks with tahine and like a little bit of lime so i picked them up that combo like hit for me so i want to do that again just some soap boring non-dairy oat creamer i want to get back to using my nespresso and like a little bit of this i like my creamers okay chomps one of my favorite snacks because they actually satisfy me and they're savory and i feel like so many protein bars are just like sweet and sugary and chocolatey which that's great when i'm like going about my day I, sometimes i want like a, a savory bite pretzel slims i like this it's like a flatbread but it's really really thin tart de champignons this mango looked too good like that color oh my gosh I, that was doing it for me. When I saw how bright it was, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it. The best fried rice, the Japanese style fried rice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. String cheese. I haven't tried these and I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna bring them over to Ben's because he likes the baked goods. He usually makes them from scratch, but he's been super busy with school lately. He's in a new year of school where he's super, super busy and like working crazy hours. So I don't know if he's gonna have as much time for baking. So I thought I would bring these to him. These are the mini croissant swirls. They sound delicious. Everyone's talking about sumos right now. So I got a bag of the sumo citrus. I do love a mandarin orange. Like that's one of my favorite fruits. So Kate Davis always talks about this protein mix. She says that she has it, I think like almost every day. The buttermilk protein pancake mix. Do I crave pancakes for breakfast? Like every morning or anything? No, like absolutely not. But I feel like this would be a good option for me. I don't really eat breakfast a lot. Not because I'm like, I don't eat breakfast. I've never been a breakfast girly. Like even growing up and stuff, I never, like I wasn't like a sit down for breakfast type of person. I just am not hungry in the morning. If I'm hungry, I'll eat. But like typically I don't wake up hungry. Fig and olive crisps. And I got these to eat with some cheese. I got some cheeses. I might, might with like a little asterisk, have some friends over on Saturday, like in between plans. So I was thinking I could put together a little cheese board or I just got the ingredients to kind of have because they stay in the fridge for a decent amount of time i'm moving not crazy soon but i do want to have a few more pre-games or like things in this apartment because i have a lot of drinks to get through i have a lot of canned beverages that need to go so 
in an effort to encourage people to come over, I'm gonna put together some like, you know, pre-games and stuff. I got some other cheeses. I like this Italian truffle, and this one's just super easy. Spanish cheese tapas sampler. So, just basic cheeses. I got, for the pretzel thins, this dip, the spinach and kale one is so good. I might have that now. Speaking of Ben being busy with school, these are also his favorites. I got them the Belgian waffles. They're really good. These are some of my favorite. I'm not a huge like frozen waffle person, but these are very good. I feel like growing up, I used to have like Eggo though. If I did eat breakfast and my parents were like, broke you up. Cause then I started going through like a bout of like passing out and they were like, girl, you have to eat breakfast. You have to have two bites of something. Otherwise you're gonna go down on us. So, and then I got some cottage cheese. Quite a random mix of things, but that's just me. Now I guess I'm gonna put this all away and have a little snack. My early birthday gift to myself has arrived. This is how I know I'm really growing up because <laughs> I'm over here buying myself tech equipment for my birthday, but I'm so excited about this guys. I've got a new mic because I am trying to up like the quality of my videos, especially when I do like more highly produced videos. I'm so excited to check this out. It's like an all-in-one kit from DJI, which is like a drone company. I actually do have like a drone from them that I used in college and stuff. And then I got these lavaliers to go with it that plug right into it. So like if I'm filming something, it's like more of like a professional setup or even if I'm doing like a sit down video, the audio will just be better. Also could work for TikTok and stuff too. Cause I've noticed a few times I've wanted to do like more interview style content or just when I'm in public and it's like loud and there's a lot of background noise or it's windy or something. And um, having a external mic like that would be a lot better. Today was also a really fun day. I saw my parents. I'm just really excited to share everything that's in the coming months. That's all that I have to say. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's a little kit. Yeah, so this and my birthday cake were my two big gifts to myself. I'm trying to save money, I'm trying to be smart. I have been renting items from Pickle, like I said, I think yesterday. So this weekend, like in the vlog, you'll see I'm wearing a lot of like rented items from Pickle and I'm really excited about it. My Daxify is kicking in too. Like I can barely move my eyebrows, but I, I like the look. It gives like a brow lift. Press to unlock. <gasps> this is so legit. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, professional. Oh. Okay, should I switch to this? I think I set it up. Results unclear though. Like do I, I don't know if I'm blowing out the audio right now. I don't even know if you could hear me through the mic. I've got to play around with it some more, but this is actually super cool because I could like clip it or I could use this lav. This reminds me of doing theater. If you guys did theater, you know, we called it the lav, but it's just a lavalier mic and like, yeah. Oh my God. So professional, wow. This won't be for everything, but like, you know, for the shots that like I, I need it hi guys all right next day the birthday weekend's officially commencing i'm wearing all shades of neutral i'm actually wearing these are tall boots but like you can't tell under these jeans they're pretty cool they are from eglin this company boots are vince camuto old they're probably like three years old at this point so i try to find a link for them because they're really really cute and i feel like people ask for them they're like suede they hit the perfect length but they aren't available anymore this sweater i got in the hamptons like two years ago it's just like a classic wardrobe staple for me at this point. I swapped out my case. The sticky thing, like the pop socket of it all was really getting on my last nerve, like picking it up from every freaking table. I was like, all right, I've had it. It serves its purpose, but sometimes it just gets annoying. I didn't even say what I'm doing. I'm going to meet some friends at Dry Bar. And then I think we're gonna get lunch. It's like gonna be fun girls day. Then we're going to dinner later. One of my best friends, Hannah from college, if you guys remember, is in town. So gonna see her. This trench has been like my most worn item. It's just the perfect weight of a jacket. I feel like I got it like maybe a year and a half or two years ago and I didn't really wear it the first year. I was like, I don't really know how to style this. And now I'm just wearing it with everything. I just think it's, it actually is like the perfect weight. It hits at the right place. It like elevates every outfit. It's just, it's a great, it's a great piece. And instead of like securing it with the belt, I've been kind of like loosely tying it off and like making it casual. My mom also taught me that you could tie it in the back so it looks a little less sloppy. We're just doing shades of neutral today. I've been getting a lot of use of the Kelly recently. When I first got this bag, I was terrified to use it because I was like, okay, if this gets one scuff mark on it, I will freak out. But I feel like I just got over that fear because I was like, what am I gonna do? Just never wear it? Like, no, I need to use it. And it goes with so many outfits. So I've been wearing it a ton. Wear it crossbody, wear it whatever. It's great. Today I rotted 
I went out with my friends yesterday. I had a ton of fun and you know, I rotted today. I just had one of those days where I was a low life. I was a loser. Um, <laughs> I went and picked up my own birthday cake. That was the journey out of the house that I made was going to pick up my birthday cake. Besides that, I have just been here reading. I finished a book. So I guess that was like a productive hangover activity because sometimes I've really you know, just rot days. I don't really like go out a ton. I mean, I just did two weekends in a row, but like now I'm not gonna go out for a while. I haven't, I, I just don't go out a lot these days and have like big nights out till like 2 a.m. But I, I did have one last weekend. So I fear that I am lying to myself right now, but you get you get the picture. Less and less and especially, you know, I'm turning 27, but I don't think age has anything to do with it. I feel like it's like generally state of life and like where my friends are all at and stuff. I had a really fun night. We went out to this place called Cafe Wa and i am going to celebrate my birthday tonight with ben because i think i said it in this video he's really busy with school stuff um it just like a lot of it like picked up really quickly so i mean he was always busy but now he's even more busy so we're gonna celebrate my birthday tonight by going out to dinner and doing cake and all that and then tomorrow um i'm gonna celebrate more so i'll vlog into tomorrow i'm gonna set my makeup with the one size setting spray i got just the mini one from the sephora sale i didn't order a lot of stuff i just got a few restocks this was the only like new product i picked up i feel like a lot of makeup artists use this what i did want to tell you is that since i spent all day reading i finished this book this is the new ellen holder brand that's unreleased so it's coming out in june swan song this one was similar i guess to like hotel nantucket it was told from all of the various perspectives there were probably like you know five people that it was told from the pov of and it kind of like switches povs quickly so you have to like i, I didn't really realize that and i was like oh what's happening and then I, I caught on i love ellen i feel like all of her books give that same vibe of like they're not like so high stimulating i feel like they're just really like well written interesting characters ritzy nantucket lifestyle i like that a lot of the characters especially in this one if you read a lot of her books like the characters overlap it's like you know the chief of police and the the local like the the people in the town and stuff like the characters are kind of in the mix however i will say this one was definitely not one of my favorite ellen books i'm still gonna give it like i think i'm gonna still give it 3.9 out of five but just like if someone's like oh what books do you recommend i feel like i wouldn't say like you gotta read the new ellen hildebrand but i did i did like it like and i'm glad that i read it so let me be clear I want to say that but at the same time her books that i really like like i just said hotel nantucket five star weekend that one was great it's the publishing date it says 6 11 24 so yeah i mean if you're I, i'm one of these people like i read alan's books every year when they come out like i'm first in line to get it so i'm very grateful to have been sent this and i feel like with my reviews of books that i get sent early like i'm gonna be honest i feel a bit like strange reviewing them in any way that isn't like super positive beaming amazing because i obviously want to establish a relationship with these public publishing houses and pr companies and stuff and i don't want them to like take me off the book list but that is my authentic honest review um i have definitely put out honest reviews before when i don't like a book that i'm sent and i'm like totally transparent I'm, like the book was just not good or just not for me, I should say. Not good, because every book is subjective. It's not even that I'm incentivized, I feel like, with the value of the book itself. Like, that's probably one piece of it mentally, but I feel like the other piece is just that, I'm like, okay, I feel like they are clearly, like, aware of my social media presence. So if I post this book review, like, I feel like it's gonna get, I don't know. Does this make sense? That's, like, my subconscious a little bit. Um, but that is the honest review. Dinner tonight, Ben made a reservation at a steakhouse in Williamsburg, I'm wearing this dress that I have worn before um, when we did our, uh, when podcast one went public on NASDAQ, I wore this dress. So it's cute, it's from Self Portrait, it's expensive, it's nice. I'm gonna be re-wearing it. I feel like a lot of these nicer dresses that I have worn to like key life events, I, you know wait a few months and then i take them back out i'm like perfect let's rewear it this is a great like birthday dinner dress with a little heel so love it i was just looking at my bookshelf at literally my copy of before we were strangers speaking of pr books i got sent the new renee carlino that doesn't come out for a few months this one's even longer away but i'm gonna read this this used to be us this is so so cool to me like early access to books like this wow that's this is the back of the book and this is giving me like Devil Wears Prada, get the girls the unreleased manuscripts of the new Harry, Harry Potter book. And she's like, how am I gonna get those? This is, that's what it's giving. Give me the unreleased manuscript of the new Renee Carlino. 
I got it. Let's go to dinner. I'm hungry. Kind of a late dinner too. Loves it. Got my little matcha boba. I feel so loved. These are from Danielle, Katie, and my management team. Gorgeous bouquets. Oh my gosh. Slipped into something more comfortable, even though the dress was comfortable, but I was sweating, guys. It's like 76 degrees. This came out of nowhere. Not complaining, but whoa, we're here. Hello, spring. Hi, I wanted to open the gift on camera. Oh my God. We Wait, I'm so excited. Guys, Danielle sent me, I see the box. You definitely went overboard. No, no, you'll see. There's a story. Read the card first. I've changed it like several times. I just vlogged in another outfit because I've been sweating. It's way hotter than I thought today. It's really hot. Yeah, cute. Eli Rallo tote bag. I see that. Yeah, I wanted to put it in a bag so the guy would I love it. See. And then I saw the box and that's why I was like, wow, this is very nice, guys. Very, very nice. Oh, am I going to cry? for my new era. <laughs> yes, yes, for your new era. Oh, this is so sweet. I mean, I hope it <gasps> works well. <laughs> oh my God, Danielle. This is so nice of you. Oh my God, she's stunning. Yeah, this is like a heavy duty. Now I really need to learn how to use a claw clip. That's actually so funny because when I was in Florida, with my mom the last time, like we go shopping, mm -hmm. you know, we went to Prada and we were looking at all the accessories and I was like, wow, I just like, that's so, they're so beautiful. I was looking at the headbands and everything. I was like, they're so beautiful, but they're so like extra, you know, like I couldn't, like why would you buy I can't that, justify yeah. it. But that, that, Wait, let's see. I don't, I hope it holds hair well. I mean, it freaking oh, better. Oh yeah, we're good. Does it? Yeah, look, we're in biz. Okay, I, you know how I do my You just pulled it back fast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me, it's let me. So it feels sturdy. Beautiful. Like it's a good, like the mechanism on the claw is good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, good. I mean, it's freaking better if it's prod off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a loose, like, but it's holding in place. Oh, okay, you good. Know? And I that's with all of my help. hair in it. You know, like I feel like Yay! if I. Oh my god. And I feel like if you were like quickly pulling your hair back in a half, a half down. Yes. Cute, oh, I love like, that. I think you'll that's play with it, but that's more my vibe, anyways. Like a little, you know. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Daniel, I was that like, was so I feel like thoughtful. I'm so glad you like it. Your face said it all. Soaking up my balcony time while I can. It's like such a beautiful day like I said changed I think 20 times today so I have this birthday cake and I want to take some pictures with it later I know I'm annoying you're allowed to be annoying on your birthday that's the thing like you're allowed to do the most and be annoying when you start this book I'm so happy I just feel really really grateful today I don't know I feel like I always get kind of emotional on my birthday I got emotional last night so hopefully it's over but I just feel very grateful. I think this is my final outfit change besides pajamas of the day, so. It's a colorful dress, but I realized that I needed a colorful dress kind of for this cake. The cake needed its moment. This is it, it's gorgeous. Like I said, it's from, from Lucy, which is in the East Village. You can go there and get like individual slices of cake and stuff too, if that interests you. That definitely interests me. Um, and individual little cakes, but they put these flowers on top to make it look beautiful. It's chocolate espresso flavored. I'm gonna try it in a little bit. They have like other ones that are more like aesthetically beautiful, but chocolate espresso, like that's my flavor, like that is a flavor that appeals to me. So I want it to be something that I could actually enjoy, not just looks beautiful. All right, I figured we could eat some of this birthday cake in my bed and chat. Ben and I went to dinner yesterday and it, we were like in Brooklyn. It didn't make sense to come back here. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have my birthday cake. This might be a stupid question, but I guess that these flowers are not edible. I mean, I'm assuming these are like real flowers and they're just decorative, right? Like you have to assume, so. Everyone's like, how's the cake? I'm like, I wouldn't know. So here we go. This was the smallest size that you could order. And I was gonna do one up from this. I'm so glad I just did this one. I was nervous. It said like eight inches. And I was like, eight inches is not that big, but it's multiple layers. So that's why it's very heavy. Baby, look at that. If I like this cake, which I'm assuming I do, I'm gonna keep it in the freezer. If not, I will give the rest. Well, I'm gonna be eating. I need to keep some in the fridge because I'm gonna be eating it for the next like week, you know? This is so important to me. I do eat food in bed. I don't prefer to eat like crummy types of foods. This is nice controlled 
environment, but like I would eat anything. Like this is peak luxury to me right now, eating my birthday cake in bed. Chocolate espresso flavored, let's try. Oh, I saw that as I dropped it. It's really, really good, wow. This is fantastic. There's chocolate chips in the icing and I love how thick the icing is. It's like almost as thick as the layer of cake. I guess just in the final hour and 40 minutes of my birthday, reflecting on 26, looking ahead to 27, I'm excited not to be corny, but it's also encouraging, I think, for people to hear. The years truly keep getting better and better. And I feel so lucky to say that. I don't know if I always like would have believed that to be true in the past, but I have to say, I feel so lucky that like these pretty much like when I 24 to 25 and 25 to 26 like they're just they're just getting better to that I just have to say I do feel so blessed I just feel like I got into like my protecting my peace era this year and I just you know had a lot of unlocks that like I don't you know like if I don't want to do something or if I don't want to hang out with someone like I don't have to do it you know I really value my time and like how I spend my time and that's not to say that I'm not going to go out and have fun. I Trust me, I love doing that. I don't know, I feel like in my early 20s, I just had really like high highs, low lows. And now I just feel overall like consistently pretty steady, pretty stable. Going to therapy helps a little bit, like feel a little bit more stable. I mean, you guys definitely see me go down, but I just feel like it's less like crazy highs and lows. It's just more like, oh, I had a bad day, but like we're getting back, you know? The only thing I will say from these past few years and like epping with being a piece is that I just feel like I haven't been necessarily challenging myself as much as I can and as much as I know I'm capable of so I think that that's what I'm really excited about with 27 and making some like larger life moves is really challenging myself I just feel like I've kind of been on like cruise autopilot in a good way like just l-i-v-i-n like just living but like I need like a push or something to challenge me or like you know because what do they say if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you more to come on that in my 27th year i said this on the podcast but i said i just want to like live and have more experiences and just become like a wiser person i feel like i mean i didn't know my mom at 27 i, I was alive but you know i don't have any memories from that time from like when i was first born to like five i don't know when was your first memory mine was probably like when i was five i just want to like experience a lot of life in these you know next few year few years to kind of like just build to my life portfolio and just become like a wiser person in general and just like have information to pass down to like my kids one day in the future very far in the future i don't know i just want to become a wiser person i guess and by collecting life experiences i feel like you do that there are some habits i want to adopt again you know i do want to get back into journaling i want to challenge myself to try some new types of workouts this year and just fitness looking at it in a little bit of a different way and kind of with moving and getting out of this current situation i feel like that's going to kind of like reboot and like reset my whole life because i have lived here for four years and this setting is just so like normal to me and like this neighborhood and just everything so i feel like a, a switch like that is going to be really quite big for me i really want to prioritize family i feel like i i always do to some degree but i want to even more carving out the time to go home to see my parents or just to see my parents and to see my extended family and aunts uncles you know just family in general and just like prioritizing that um i feel like as i get older oh my god i knew i would cry my birthday just as i get older like i just realize how important that is and how lucky i am that my family's not that far away being on Long Island, it's like an hour, two hours, away. like it's not far. You know, some people have to get on a plane, multiple planes, whatever, to go home and it's like inconvenient and the whole thing. Like it, it couldn't be more convenient for me, you know? I, I really need to take advantage of that more. I want to improve my networking skills. I mean, it was more so like when I was like in college, I was definitely more so like, oh my God, let's do phone calls, let's do meetings. Like I just want to like get all this knowledge that I can and I want to get better about that because I feel like I do live in like this amazing city and I think I do get comfortable in those sort of ways and like I'm always open to like meeting new people, making new friends, making new connections. Like I just want to be like that is something that I want to work on this year. I also want to work on public speaking in general with doing these live shows and speaking in general. I guess it's just I just want to get better at speaking and comedy I guess and like timing with having the duo podcast it's a little more complex but i feel like just solo stuff you can kind of work on that a little bit easier i want to put myself in uncomfortable positions like in that way with 
I don't know if I want to necessarily get up and like give a speech or like a TED talk or something, but you know, with speaking and working on my stage presence and working on becoming a better performer and a better podcaster and you know, a better YouTuber, I just want to like keep getting better. I want to like keep improving. I talked about this in a vlog a few recent vlogs ago that I feel really motivated right now and I feel like I've been really creatively inspired and encouraged from the social media perspective of it all recently and my mindset can go a lot of different ways with that. I feel like I could like watch a lot of TikTok one night and be like, what is this job? What the heck am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm just another influencer. Or I could look at it and get inspired and be like, oh my gosh, I'm connecting with people from all over the world. I am, you know, bringing entertainment to someone, bringing someone comfort, whatever the hell it could be. I say this every year, but I want to work on cooking. I was good about it for a minute in the winter there when I had a lot of time, but I need to work on like nutrition. I don't know what's my problem. I don't know. I just don't eat three meals a day. You know, they say like you're supposed to eat like 80, 20 healthy to like not healthy or like, you know, cheat, whatever. Like I can't even tell you guys the percentages because I just feel like I'm not, I'm not great, you know? And not, that's not to say that I don't like healthy food. I do enjoy, like, I enjoy salad. I enjoy a green bowl. I enjoy, I, I like vegetables. So I want to get better at, like, preparing meals and, you know, easy meals, especially with looking to move in with my boyfriend. And, you know, I just need to be able to feed myself. Like, that's, you know. I don't know. It's, like, weird because I, I just, I'm not hungry for three meals a day, but then I wait and then I get ravenous, you know? And I'm like, okay, I just need to eat whatever's in front of me. No matter what it is, it could be sour candy. And then I'm like, okay, I just ate sour candy for lunch. So now for dinner, and then I'll have like a sweet green salad or like, you know, a green bowl or something healthy, but something's not adding up. I haven't talked about it like so, so much, but I have been dealing with some stresses due to like external factors in my life um, the past few months. And some of it's like not my business to share, but I feel like when you have those external stressors, it definitely impacts like your eating habits, your fitness, your just like, motivation in general like I you know but that's why therapy is so great you got to talk through it now I'm just rambling mostly everything is gr rooted in gratitude like I said you know the years just keep getting better and I'm just so thankful for it and like almost saying that I'm like in disbelief that it could be true I guess I always kind of had an inkling I remember being in college thinking and I had a great time in college don't get me wrong but I always knew that even when I was in college like while I was in college I was like wow I'm having fun but like, these are not the best years of my life. I just knew that. I feel like I really blossomed and like came into myself after college. I don't know if that considered, if I'm a late bloomer for that or, but I think I really came into my own around like probably age, probably when I moved to New York, honestly. So that was four years ago. Yeah. So that's why I'm like emotional about like leaving this apartment and everything too. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I really became Brooke Vecchio. I do feel like the best is yet to come. And I feel like you hear that a lot from people who are like in their forties and fifties. They're like, oh my God, just wait, you know, it keeps getting better. And I like, I'm like, please be right. Please be right. Because things are so good now that I would just feel like it would just be 10 million times better. If things like truly keep getting better, better and better. And I feel so grateful and so grateful for each and every one of you as you guys I hope you know, I try to say it like almost in every video because I don't know how much more I could articulate it. Like my life is my life because of you guys and because you watch me and support me and oh my God, I know I'm gonna cry. I did this to myself. 